Here we are introducing the brand new Carly Suspension eVenture system. For a long time, we've had the custom tuned shock options that we've thrown at a lot of trucks, something that's been well ahead of all the other brands on the market. Then the factories have introduced their electronic shock packages that are found on Razors, Raptors, and the like. Today, we are introducing a suspension system that combines them both and gives you a high performance off-road system with a completely electronic and adjustable shock. Now, what I mean by an electric shock is the truck is taking your input from your brake pedal and your throttle pedal, as well as the motion of the terrain and the truck to combine it into a fully adjustable setup that reacts to the exact terrain that you're going over, AKA this truck with a computer will adjust to whatever you throw at it. In fact, it's doing it 100 times per second. Carly Suspension will be releasing their own video if you're really interested in the specific shock technology. However, we figured we'd make a video that just shows you what it's like to drive this truck in all kinds of situations. Now, as you guys have seen in plenty of videos, I can talk all day. However, today we're gonna show you guys and we're gonna jump right on into that. Long awaited video. This is our very first video on the Carly Suspension eVenture system. Um, I'm riding in my 2021 F250, sporting the two and a half, three and a half eVenture system. In front of me is Dan, the VP of Carly Suspension, with his four and a half, five and a half eVenture. We're about two hours outside of LA right now. Um, this is the 15 freeway, which, if you're familiar, would take you from California to Las Vegas. Um, extremely vast public desert out here. A ton of people shoot out here, camp out here. There's off-road races. Uh, the infamous Mojave Trail is not too far from here. So there's just a lot of uh, off-highway recreation out here. So this would be a perfect area to kind of show you guys uh, what this truck is capable of, uh, both at the high speed and again, the low speed, right? So for those of you who just want an extremely comfortable tow rig with your family, it really is cool. It really does smooth out these trucks and I'm excited to show you what they can do. All right, here we are, right at our local proving grounds. This is Dan from Carly Suspension, VP, one of the main guys that makes everything work and helps get these parts out the door to you guys. Just Let's enjoying another here. tough day at the office. Yes. <laughs> um, we've been enjoying the fruits of our labors for a long time, had this kid under wraps, been working on it for a very long time. We're out here with the first leveling and then the four and a half slash five and a half system. Uh, get to show you guys the fruits of our labor. So again, we've been running them in the dirt, running them on the road, testing them, refining them, doing all the things that we do to these suspension systems. And today we get to actually film this and show you the fruits of our labors. Like I said before, we're going to take these things from the highway to the dirt. And with a flip of a knob, you're going to be able to change completely how the truck feels. Uh, so that way it is a completely smooth and well handling truck on road. And then we'll throw these trucks in the dirt, get them dirty. From here, we're going to hit the pavement and see how these trucks do on the highway. Now, if you've watched a lot of our videos, we always talk about how this kit is smooth and that kit is smooth. I've had the privilege of testing out a lot of these systems and it really is the pinnacle of the Carly suspension systems for the Ford trucks. It's able to keep the softness of the most basic system, again, for low speed situations. However, the high speed handling of the pin top system. So it truly is the best riding system. And actually thanks to the oil flow and the shocks and things like that, which Carly will get to their technical video, you'll actually find that it does ride a little bit better in some of those concrete freeways and sections like that where the Ford trucks and a lot of aftermarket suspension tends to show um, expansion joints and the likes. You still will feel it with these trucks. I'm not gonna lie and say it completely goes away, but I think it truly does cut down the harshness on those weird freeway sections. Now, whether we like to admit it or not, most of our trucks spend a lot of time on the highway. Whether or not you are working in the dirt or working in an office, there's a ton of commuting time, family time, etc. And that's somewhere where some people have had complaints with a lot of the off-road oriented shocks at the beginning of this. You know, with a King shock or a 2.5 inch shock, you're putting a ton of valving in it so you can hit the dirt hard. However, when you get on the freeway or you're hitting off ramps, gas stations, things like that, you tend to feel a little bit more of the road. 
However, you go with one of the more basic systems with like a single um, nitrogen charged IFP shock, and it's gonna be a lot softer when pulling into driveways and things like that, or even say rock crawling. However, once you hit those high speed scenarios where you swerve on the freeway, someone pulls out in front of you, the truck's gonna dip and do things like that. This system is actually combining the both of the best aspects from those kits into one system that is able to adjust on the fly. You're able to take off from intersections or I don't know, some guys even are still drag racing diesel trucks. You're able to punch uh, off of a green light and still have an insane amount of rear end control and then hit a dip and have the truck be extremely smooth. So there's all kinds of street applications where this is extremely pertinent and applicable where often guys talk about electronic shocks or 2.5s being for off-road only. Another really cool aspect that I've been able to use myself is the towing control. So you're actually able to control front and rear um, separately and dynamically. So you're actually able to, there's a towing mode on the physical screen, turn up the towing mode and it'll actually firm up the shocks in the rear. So for those of you with a big fiver and things like that, you're actually able to control a lot of the, again, highway interchanges and uh, you know those bouncy situations where you get a two for one bounce after changing freeways. The shock's gonna control that and have an, a really controlled feel in the rear end of the truck. Now for the next section of this test, we're gonna take the truck in the dirt. However, not the typical high speed sections yet. Typically, if you're using your truck and using the suspension system, you're going hunting, fishing, towing your trailer into a campsite, uh, et cetera. So now we're gonna do a little bit of the, what we call the low speed off-road. This is a standard fire road just outside of Los Angeles County, as well as a little bit of rock crawling on some local trails to really show you how much the truck can adjust. Going on the fire road section, we actually left the truck in street mode as well as street pressures. And in the rock crawling sections, we actually were able to adjust the truck to rock crawler mode, which actually pulls a lot of the stiffness out of the shocks to give you a lot, uh, full articulation and not have you kind of as jarring feeling when transferring from rock to rock or in these super technical low speed sections. Now, as you can see from some of these clips, these trucks have an insane amount of articulation with these kits. Suspension travel wise, uh, the factory trucks are very limited, especially the 2020 and up. I think there's only about two inches of factory up travel. With the system on my personal truck, you're looking at nine inches of front suspension travel, 13 inches in the rear. And with Dan's four and a half, five and a half system, you're actually looking at 10 and a quarter inches up front and the same 13 inches in the rear. Now, having talked to a lot of you customers on the phone, a lot of people say, what does suspension travel mean to me? I'm not jumping my truck and off-roading it. However, you are hitting train tracks, you're hitting dips, again, you're hitting the infamous interchange. You're hitting all these situations where your suspension needs to cycle, and that is where these kits really shine. For those of you who already have a Carly suspension kit as well, this is as simple as a shock, a shock change, as well as all the wiring that goes with it. Again, there will be actually an installation video aside from this one, but it is something that can be built upon, and that is the cool thing of the Carly systems. Um, if you've already purchased one, you can always upgrade it. And again, this isn't gonna be a kit for everybody. It is spendy, however, it is a really slick system. Going back to the suspension travel, those of you who have pulled into a sketchy campsite at night or just ended up on the wrong road, walking through these Jeep, tra Jeep trails, you can really see how much articulation these trucks have. We're able to put these trucks in situations where a lot of local guys will actually test their latest 4Runner build or their latest Cherokee build, things like that. These trucks are able to walk through these sections with ease. Now these video clips actually do look extremely smooth and in fact it was in the truck extremely smooth. However, think about it, if you did have a factory 250, especially not a Tremor, so didn't have the factory suspension, uh, lift and things like that, you probably couldn't make it past the first three feet because you'd be doing a lot of two-wheel teeter-totter action. So that is really what makes these systems cool is you're able to put a truck in a situation that it can't do typically. And in fact, something it kind of wasn't even designed to do and you're able to do it with ease. I think it's safe to say at this point that these suspension systems have the most travel as well as the most articulation out of any of the suspension systems on the market for the Super Duties currently. Now, since we really can't help ourselves, Carlos Suspension as well as ourselves really love our high-speed desert clips, so we're gonna jump right into it.
Typically when trying to make an off-road shock ride well, both on and off-road, you're concerned about small bump compliance as well as large bump compliance. And while we've done a pretty good job in the past of bridging that gap, today I think we found the pinnacle. Look at this clip. I mean, how are we able to take a truck that rides extremely well off-road, jump it into the dirt and actually hit what we'd call razor bumps or extremely small, extremely close together whoops at 65 miles an hour with ease. I mean, this clip says it all. This truck's able to eat up whatever you throw at it off-road while still riding well um, on the highway while still being able to hit a Jeep trail. And it really is an extremely cool system. Now, I have personally spent the last 11 years running these diesel trucks in the desert. I've busted axles, I've been a frame, I've totaled a truck and everything in between. We've put a lot of these trucks through the paces and this truly is a unique system even in the dirt. Now, while SDI may not be a brand you've ever heard of before, this truck is capable, so don't worry about brand names and things like that. In fact, even trying to film these S-turn clips where we're really hoping to get these trucks uh, to lose their composure a little and look really cool on video, we actually couldn't get the trucks to do it. The, the handling of these trucks is amazing to the fact that you can hit a turn even in the desert that's set up for a razor and pull out of it in your 8,000 pound truck. What other suspension system allows you to do that? Referencing our stock versus Carly video that we filmed in the past, a stock truck couldn't even make it through these sections. In fact, we you know, turn, had the engine turn off on us. We blew a fuel filter. I mean, the, the list goes on on why these trucks aren't able to do this. However, with a suspension system like this, it really is a true utilitarian Swiss Army knife. Now getting into exactly how this system works. So you're gonna have your standard four shocks, one in every corner, and there's gonna be a simple wire harness that runs to them. It's labeled, it's super clear and super easy as you'll see in the installation video. Underneath your seat is the control module. Now there was a lot of prototypes on where to put this. We actually landed with the seat because under the hood of the diesel truck got so hot, it would throw off some of the readings of the module. Under the seat, it's always cool, it's protected and it works really well. From there on your A pillar, you have the control module. It is super easy to work. It's touchscreen, it has a rotary knob as well as a button. So for those of you who aren't super technologically inclined, it's still very simple to use. From there, it plugs into the OBD2 port on your truck, picks up your throttle input, your steering input, your braking, and as well as a final sensor underneath the hood that's able to sense the speed of the truck, the motion of the truck, whether you're swerving left, right, punching the brakes, whether it's leaning towards the rear, and it's able to pick that all up and make adjustments in the shocks hundreds of times per second. Probably the craziest thing about this system is how quick it reacts. Again, it's making these changes hundreds of times per second. In our test truck, we were actually able to accidentally hit some drop-offs, and when we landed in them, the shocks had already reacted. It sensed the truck had dropped off, ramped up the shock, and actually was able to control it instead of hit a harsh bottom out. So it's extremely cool fire roads like this. Now getting to the nitty gritty of the modes, there are three main modes, rock car mode, street mode, as well as dirt mode. Typically I leave mine in street. In fact, some of the fire road clips you see today were filmed in street mode. I'm not one for fiddling. However, it was really cool to switch over to dirt mode and see the truck ramp up a little bit more, again, hitting these hard sections, a la where we hit the razor section. You couldn't do that without ramping up the shock because the truck would get out of sorts. Instead, we were able to hit those sections at 65 miles an hour. And lastly, getting to that rock mode, again, it does pull a lot of the resistance out of there, so you're getting full suspension travel, yet the truck isn't super loose when you hit a rock and have to hit a brake to keep from sliding into the next one. Now I did lie, there is a fourth mode, so to speak, or another layer of adjustability. If you love going down rabbit holes, you love tinkering, you're actually able to change all of the reactions that the system has to the input to your own taste. What that means, if you feel that the front end should firm up a little bit more or increase in control when you're hitting the brakes, you're able to dial that up and you're actually able to dial it down. So while it is preloaded with what I feel is a very acceptable level of tuning, you're actually able to adjust it yourself. Now within these layers of adjustment, there's actually a tow mode. You can adjust the tow mode at increments of 25%, going from 0, 25, 50, 75, and 100. And what you're doing is you're dialing in the control of your rear end. So for those of you with a really light trailer, for instance, I was towing my Jeep, I, tow I increased the tow mode to 25%, controlled a little bit of that extra movement in the rear. However, if I hooked up my fifth wheel, I would actually turn up you know, to say 75%, and I'd really keep that two for one balance you get with a trailer. Now, typically that is something you can't do, especially you know with a pre-tuned shock, you're kind of stuck with wherever that shock is at. However, with this, you're actually able to dial in another level of towing, kind of like how you would the towing brake controller on your truck. You're actually able to make changes for a better experience. Now, I want to get ahead of at least one comment on that video. Why not just use an adjustable shock like the big manufacturers already offer, typically referred to as a clicker? 
We've tried them in the past. The way they adjust the shocks, oil flow, they really don't work well in these street applications. However, why would anyone want to crawl under all four corners of their truck when going on and off highway? How easy would it be to just turn a knob and have the truck do what you would like it to do? Similar to what happens on Razors, Raptors, things like that. That is what's so cool about this technology. You're able to put it in a truck that actually never came with it from the factory. And lastly, that is all static, right? So as you turn the shock to number six, you're stuck with whatever number six is for the rest of the day. This system was actually able to make all the changes based off your input as well as the terrain that you're in. I don't know a single shock manufacturer that currently has that, and this is something extremely unique, especially on the Super Duty trucks. Now, for those of you whose mind is always on the glass half empty, what happens when the electronic system fails? Nothing. This shock is gonna perform just as it would uh, if there was no electronic control of it, right? It is just a static valve shock. So you're still gonna have an excellent riding system. However, it's not gonna be making, you know, the calculations and changing hundreds of times per second. So you're not gonna feel like you're riding on a pogo stick or something like that. The truck's still gonna handle extremely well. I have had a ton of fun filming this video. Um, I felt a little bad for my truck today. However, we did have a blast. I won't be doing this every weekend, but for some good video clips and to show you guys what these trucks are capable of, I'm happy to do it. We've had a blast. I'm extremely excited. Again, I've probably said extremely well and excited 300 times in this video. But to have a system so unique as this, um, I am pumped. It's able to do everything we want from it. I've put a ton of street miles on it. I'm having a blast. Those of you who have any questions, um, further into the details, feel free to comment down below, shoot us a phone call, send us an email. We're happy to help. Yeah, what a day. This system truly is amazing. We'll catch you guys on the next one.